we're testing out. We got a new uh, set here for talking ash. Oh yeah, I'm kind of liking it. It's not too bad. 85 it's a degrees, remote sunny. location, a little bit of a commute, but yeah. I think we could make it work. The only thing I don't like is all these lizards are freaking running around. I can't even call them lizards. Some of them things are like 50 pounds. I don't know <laughs> what the hell they are. And they're fast. Oh, they're but you can't take your eye off those guys for a second. Not at all. Anyway. Although I am learning. This guy could run pretty fast well, when they chase them. You got them right, I can. You don't have to tell me twice to run away from Another here. thing I'm learning is I, I didn't bring any sunscreen. So this, this might end badly. But uh, this sun is hot. It's beautiful. Real nice and humid. Yeah. Um, take a look at our, uh, I don't know if I can turn this camera around, but I'll show you a little bit of a view here for you. All right, back to cigars. Not bad. Back to cigars. What are you smoking, T? Espinosa. Erica Espinosa Crema. Toro size. Real nice. Well, everything from uh, the Espinosa line is really good. I like the Crema. Yeah. Probably my favorite out of them all. Yeah, for sure. But he, he's really putting out uh, really nice cigars. You know, we're here at the TAA trade show, and one of the benefits of being here is the ability to sit down and talk with manufacturers. One of the first people we saw when we got here was Eric Espinosa. Yeah. You know, we're sitting down having a cigar, you know, and he comes right down over, sits down, talks, catches up on, on some business, family, see how Everything. things are going. Yep. You know, it's a great opportunity for us to, to really, you know, talk with the people in the yeah. industry, you know, manufacturers as well as other retailers. Yeah. And we had, the, you know, first half day of the TAA this morning with our uh, annual meeting, sharing ideas with other retailers and manufacturers. And we got a, a, um, a quick glimpse at the TAA series yeah that will be out um later this year and some even the beginning of next year yeah. and some program. of them are ready to ship yeah immediately yeah. so so the know. times i'm looking forward to is the epc yep. ep Carrillo is going to have a real nice one espinosa of course going and then um you know the ongoing whether it's the padrone is always a nice ongoing yeah uh, we got TAA the, uh, the herrera taa blend yeah uh the new hoya de nicaragua uh, cinco de cinco about, taa blend yeah. and one you know from a manufacturer that hasn't done one before and i'm looking forward to is an oliva Serie v oh, is yeah. going to be releasing a nice taa yeah. blend so, so wow. you know stay tuned make sure you're following our social media channels yeah. uh for updates as far as those, uh, and releases. they're all limited release. Like I, most of them is only four or five, six hundred boxes. That's it. You know, and very that's not first floor. That's it. total for the whole country. Yeah. So is, um, you know, so they're very they're limited. limited. Yeah. Um, you know, if you see something, don't sleep on it. You know, take the opportunity and get and it, yeah. get it before it's gone. And I like the best thing about the TAA because when you buy them TAA cigars, that company um, donates money back to the TAA. To keep these going in the fight, uh, you know, to help the fight in legislation that they're trying to, you know, derail our our habit, not our habit, but our enjoyment and uh, relaxation of smoking cigars. And that's uh, always one of the topics here. We got a update on what legislation's out there, whether either to ban smoking in places or raising taxes or putting new taxes on. So I could ever ask if you ever have a opportunity to speak to any. Um, if you're local legislators, senators, representatives, uh, congressmen, you just tell them, you know, that's enjoying your right to uh, the freedom of if you enjoy smoking a cigar. Right. Yeah. And we all got to be in it together because, you know, you don't think it's going to happen. The next thing you know, they're shoving something down our throat like that, which uh, hurts business, hurts the consumers, whether it's in price or where you could uh, sit and enjoy a cigar when you like. Right. So uh, you always got to keep that in mind. So not a bad first half to the day here not in Aruba. Uh, we're going to head back into the convention center and get some business done. And uh, we'll be uh, checking in with you guys periodically. Well, hello there. Day two, TAA 2024. In Aruba. In Aruba. This is a Talking Ash Aruba, Aruba edition. edition. I like our new set here, though. Yeah, I mean, nice and toasty though. It heats up here quick. Man, there's a couple couple challenges that we've been facing. The humidity, number one, makes it kind of difficult to get a cigar started. Yeah. And sometimes to keep it lit. That's how much humidity we, we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Another major issue that we've been facing is being that you travel on an airline, can't really bring butane with you. Nope. You Out could of bring butane, lighters. You could bring lighters, but 
Took me about 25 minutes to light this Umbagog bronze back. Where your the Jeep with my the Jeep. And of all things, I got a couple of my torches through. Yeah. Not that I was trying to sneak them. I just throw them in my bag, and if they make it, they make it. And they did. And last night, I left it at a table somewhere. We were just in with a bunch of guys. I think they would have left it there. They took it. And it's gone. Somebody took the lighter. Yeah. I challenge you guys to try to light a, a cigar with the, the, the Jeep in the, in the wind. wind with high humidity Jeep. and not burn the shit out of your finger. That's one thing I should have videoed you doing that. Oh, wasn't uh, wasn't easy, but we you were we, throwing uh, out some explicitives there too. Well, you know, it's the way to get your day started. <laughs> how, close, how close were you to throwing that cigar over the balcony well, and the hell with it? I, I was ready to go over the balcony <laughs> with it. <laughs> Jump in, do a, do a swan dive. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys want to take a a quick look at our view? See what we're uh, we're dealing with out here today. This definitely does not suck but as we tell our wives this is what we call work well it is work doesn't matter where you're doing it we're doing a little work yep. so tell me about it i'm going with the umbagog 2 yep. green this is a little bit different i'm not familiar with this so this is the so bronze back you know um basically an extra spicy version of the original bronze mm -hmm. back you know different blend but i mean for you full body smokers this thing is uh this is incredible yeah it's ten dollars real cigar. nice Ten dollar cigar bundle of ten for ninety bucks out the door. Yep, you can't beat it. Um, trying to find them. That's, that's another, another challenge. Story. That's another challenge. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, so far, you know, this has been exactly what I needed for breakfast. Yeah. Well, I just hope it's not too powerful because I don't like nothing that strong early in the day. Although it's not my first cigar, I'm on three. Well, I was gonna say when you're smoking ten cigars a day. You think the strength really plays into it by the end of the day? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I don't know as much to strength, but sometimes the nicotine level. Day, nicotine, yeah. yeah. Overload. The nicotine. The overload overload. Of nicotine. If there's such a thing, can you overdose on nicotine? I'm sure you can. Well, right? I don't know. If you start getting the shakes and stuff like that, I don't know. I'll throw if you If I the... start getting the shakes, and let's just go to the blackjack table. No, That'll I'm gonna, straighten you out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you back. I'm going to throw you in the pool a little bit and, you know, a little water on your face. Yeah, it'd be good. Get you going again, but... You know, some of the things that we do here at the TAA is sample a lot of new releases. You know, um, a lot of the manufacturers will will kind of, you know, put out a, a pre-release of a cigar coming to the entire industry, you know, within the next few months um, or a TAA blend. Right. right. So we've got a bunch of TAA cigars that we're, you know, we're going to be smoking through and evaluating here as well as when we get home, yeah. because to do it here is. Is yeah. difficult with well, the I amount am, of cigars that you smoke yeah. throughout the course of a day. The next cigar I'm going to smoke though today, which I think is going to be real good, the TAA um, from Eric Espinosa, the Murcielago. Yeah, the Chautauqua. That I think that's going to yeah. be a, a winner. It looks really nice, wrapper, yeah. soft box press. And, and I'm um, not a Connecticut guy, but that cigar looks damn good. And the way you know we were sitting down having a conversation with Eric Espinosa the other day. You know, and it's just something about the way that he'll explain the blends of a cigar, you know, versus anybody else, else. when it's his own blend. Yeah. You know, it's, but yeah, that's something that I was saving for today as well, because mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of get it on a rather clean Yeah, because I got it at the end of the day, so I, I, yeah. wanted, I didn't want to smoke it at the last cigar of the day. To see, only because I never smoked it before, to see what's coming I out. I smoked quite a few Espinosa cigars yesterday. Yep. Um, finished the night with a Davidoff Double R. Um, I got mine today, to, that, and that's man. not like your sample. It's been around forever, but yeah. that's... That, but if that, you that's haven't a, had the opportunity to smoke a Davidoff, yeah. you know, that's one of those cigars that you should really seek mm -hmm. and try to try to at least have one of those. Um, we do carry them at our uh, Smoke Ring Cigar Bar location with the, with a the Davidoff bar account, among other Davidoff white label sticks. So anybody needs anything, you know, reach out to me. We'll make it happen, but that's that's a bucket list type cigar. I mean, it's yeah. something that no, you're smoking the every day. But no. once in a while, when you want something a little special, you can't go wrong with uh, with anything in their whole lineup, from the Winston Churchill uh, blends to all the white label. I'm looking out here at the ocean. It's totally different in the daytime during the nighttime. We were we were we were in line to get on a boat yesterday to go for dinner onto one of the islands, and. Uh, 
It just took way too much time. Yeah, I don't know too, if the boat ever came. long. You had to fill out all this paperwork. The boat may not have never come, nope. came, but um, I, I would have been more inclined to get on that boat in the daytime versus the nighttime. Night time. <laughs> yeah, you could see where... It was, it was a little boat, too. You could it see when you're going. Boat. Yeah, right. Yeah, but this does have a little spice to it here in the first third or so. Not overpowering. No. A spicy. No, I'll but, tell you what. As soon as you light it up, it is a spice and pepper bomb. Yeah. But it really, really diminishes quickly and, it, and gets into a really nice cigar. So, and a lot of cigars are like that. A lot of these blenders, they, they, change. Like, to, they like to hit you with that wow factor right away. But uh, don't get discouraged. Keep smoking through it and it'll really, really mellow out. And you get a lot of more of those uh, nuances in it yep. in the cigar. So what else we got to do today? So we're going to go visit. Um, there's a local cigar store here close to us where we're staying on the island. Yep. Aruba Cigar. So we'll go uh, see. And I believe he, from what I understand, is an American. Yeah. That moved here, I don't know when, and opened a cigar store right here downtown. Uh, right here downtown by our hotel. Very big tourist area. Uh, two cruise ships have docked already this morning. Big, big cruise ships. So... You know, last night we were taking a look at the uh, the bar across the street, and it was dead. Well, nine o'clock in the morning, it's packed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they know when the when everybody's coming in. And yeah, it was kind of like not a lot of people around here. I don't know if this is off season for them here or yeah, or what. But that's all right by us because we didn't have to wait in any restaurants, bars anywhere. Yeah, to go. So yeah, it's no, nice. No complaints from me. Not at all. But we've got a little bit of business to take care of. We're going to finish these Umbagog bronze backs, and uh, we'll check back in with you guys on the next episode. <laughs>